Some years ago, I read a, a statement from Pope John Paul II that described the purpose of a parish as being helping people to discover their vocation. Now we all know from our understanding of baptism that our vocation begins even very early in life and it's the scriptures even from before we are born. In our baptism, we know that each one of us is called by name to be a priestly, kingly, and prophetic people. In this video, you will hear about the stories of some young people in our parish who have come to an, an understanding of what it means to follow the vocation of God. It is God who calls, yet it is your call to respond. Hello, St. Anthony Parish. My name is Ben Bray, and I'm a fellow St. Anthony Parish parishioner, but also I'm a seminarian for the Archdiocese of Seattle. My name is Ellen McCormick. I graduated from St. Anthony in 2002. I attended school there, kindergarten through eighth grade, and then I went on to Kennedy High School and Chaminade University of Honolulu Catholic Marianist University on the island of Oahu. My name is Michael Bayaki. And my name is Gabriella Bayaki. And we, <laughs> we just got married a month ago here in Seattle. Hello, my name is Louis Cunningham. I am going into my senior year at Bishop White Seminary over at Gonzaga University. After that, I will be going on to major theology at one of the theo theologates that the Archbishop will choose for me. I have five to six more years until I become a priest, and I would appreciate your prayers. So my name is Anna Ricci, and I am a graduate of St. Anthony School, and then I went on to attend Holy Names, and just graduated from the University of San Diego, and am going to be starting as the Pastoral Assistant for Youth Ministry at Mary Queen of Peace Parish in Sammamish. How do I live out my vocation? It's really an overarching broad question to ask, but the biggest way would be to live within where Jesus has put me and also to have prayer within a part of my life. When I say in a place where Jesus has put me, I mean within the seminary, one, but also within the circumstances that I've been given. The longer I've been in the seminary, the longer I've recognized that everything has been given to me as a gift. and. Those things that have been given to me as a gift aren't things for me to run away from. Prayer is a super important part of my life, but it's super easy also for me to take that and attempt to use it as a mechanism to distract myself from the things that Jesus has given me. It's really an incredible environment to be in, and I hope that I always get to work with the Catholic Church no matter where it may take me. I love being in education, but if God pulls me somewhere else, I'd be willing to follow. People were still saying to me, Ben, have you ever thought about applying for seminary or are you going to, or have you thought about being a priest? And what was interesting was that on the inside, I felt like saying yes, but it scared me because, as I said, each year, it, the, that voice inside was going, growing louder and louder and louder. So when I was praying before the Blessed Sacrament one time after a talk right there at the camp, I, f I believe that it was Jesus talking to me. I had a sense of, why are you running away? It was just those simple words, just right within, right within my heart. And I knew right then and there that it was time to stop denying, stop saying no, and to finally, I guess, um, finally man up. And just accept that 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 God was potentially calling me to the seminary. Saint Anthony played the parish here in the church and the school played a huge role in our decision to get married. Um, I know, growing up, uh, going attending Saint Anthony Mass and the school, I saw the sense of community amongst all the married couples that um, 
my parents and then their friends included. And so growing up in that environment and seeing so many positive marriages and relationships, I just always wanted that for myself. And then when I met Mike, it was so perfect because we were both from St. Anthony, had gone to St. Anthony's and it um, just was such a strong connection having um, St. Anthony's connect us. Mm -hmm. In thinking about how I live out the person that God called me to be, I think first that just starts with your everyday actions and what you do. And um, for me, my faith is at the core of who I am. And a large part of that, I think, is made up of um, the how I was brought up and how I was raised and the people that have influenced me, um, being able to be um, at a Catholic school and then a Catholic high school as well as a Catholic college definitely had a big impact on that. Largely kind of goes with this discerning what your vocation might be. Um, I had the opportunity to travel to El Salvador a year ago on an immersion trip um, through university ministry at USD. And I heard um, a sister there describe her, spiritual, her spirituality to me as living out her deepest truth. Um, and so I think to me that's a large part of deciding what that vocation is um, for you and deciding what that passion is in you. What is your deepest truth? What is that calling that you feel? Um, for me that was youth ministry, but that wouldn't be for everyone and it doesn't have to be a job even. Um, it can just be talking to people, it can be um, serving, it can be a specific type of issue that you might be particularly passionate about. Um, but really finding what that is and then seeing how God is calling you in that direction, I think, is a huge part of that.